It's day six of the restoration efforts and I'm in the Orchard Hills community with Jen Fryer and her son William. Jen, describe the damage here. Um, well, as you can see behind us, um, we actually made it till about seven o'clock on Sunday morning without anything. We had a couple flickers and then um, this tree fell over and it's taken the circumference of the, uh, the roots back there and it's quite a big tree. It fell and basically split the pole in half and um, power went out. There's down lines in the in the yard and um, we lost a pine tree that was in front of it and then the big oak tree that was my neighbor's so we got a couple piles of trees here <laughs> it's a big mess it's a big mess but you know it's you know hard work never hurt anybody so it'll be good so um i know you have two other children yes william has a brother and a sister and it must be it's extremely difficult having three children three small children with such a busy week tell us about our, your week and how you're coping <laughs> we started school this week school didn't start until wednesday um, my daughter started second grade on wednesday my son had an hour visitation with this kindergarten teacher and he started full time today um, we're very fortunate in that we have a lot of friends and family in the neighborhood so um, people have opened their homes to us even people in the neighborhood some people in the neighborhood even like across the street have power and they've been very very fortunate uh, we've been very fortunate they've been very kind letting us bring food over to put in freezers you know take showers bathe kids um, all those things so it's 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 been a real it's kind of been a community spirit builder if you can say that but people always come together in times of craziness and it's it's been crazy but you know Day six, we're still smiling, we're good. <laughs> Speaking of community, I'm told that you're the president of the Community Association, Orchard Hills. Mm -hmm. How are the neighbors coping as well as you? Um, I would like to say yes, but um, I mean, it's tough because people don't always understand and people don't, you know, you got to remember that these guys, the BGE guys, the guys from out of state, I mean, there's guys working who are going to restore my power who are from Kentucky, from Iowa, from Indiana. They've left their families and, you know, drove in a utility truck, not a minivan, not something comfortable. They drove a utility truck across the country. You know, I mean, we go to vacation in Ohio. There was a guy from Ohio. That's an eight hour drive. It's not fun in a minivan. I can't imagine what that's like in a utility truck. So, um, you know, some people, I think you kind of tend to focus on yourself and, oh, I don't have power. Oh, poor me, poor me. But it's not really about that. You know, um, it's about remembering that, you know, they didn't have to come and help. It could be, I mean, if it was just the guys that were local, I mean, we wouldn't even be talking right now because it, there's just not enough manpower. So it, there's been a lot of sacrifices on a lot of people's parts. And that's what's really important to remember. Jen. You're so understanding. Tell us, when, when all of this happened, what did you do first in terms of your contact with BGE? And what, how'd it go? How'd that go? I call, we called Sunday morning. We actually got through right away to a live person who was very nice, very understanding, um, very actually pleasant for the fact that I'm probably like the millionth person that she talked to. Um, she basically said, you know, thank you for reporting it. We'll, um, we'll have somebody out. We saw a truck that morning um, around... We went to breakfast uh, at IHOP because, with everybody else who didn't have power because, you know, that's where you go. And um, I think we got back around 1130 and there was a truck in the neighborhood that, that was coming through to assess to see, you know, okay, how do we categorize people? Who has down lines? Who has trees? Who's just out? Who has, you know, and they were like, all right, well, we're going to call this in and um, get you on the right list. And you're going to have somebody come out to sit and watch the lines because once they had verified that the lines were down, they, I guess BGE has to take liability for it. So we had people, the nicest guys from all over the place. Um, sitting in front of my house since I think they got here on Tuesday, just making sure that the lines were secure, that nobody was going in the backyard. Um, just really pleasant guys. Um, all of them have been so, so nice, you know, just easy to talk to. We're, you know, very apologetic. And I mean, you know, BG didn't make the tree fall. The wind made the tree fall. It's, it's really, it's really okay. Everybody's been so great about it and friendly. So it's gotten us through. Tell us just a little bit about the interaction you've had with some of the crews, especially all the crews who are here today. Today is a big day. It is a big day. We're getting good. We're hoping to get power back today. Um, they said, what? Okay. They said maybe tonight, if not tomorrow morning. Um, Tony has been one of the supervisors here. So great. So easy to talk to. Very understanding, you know, you know, and I mean, joking around with the guys and just thanking them for coming. I mean, I've, I've run into guys, um, 
at gas stations, offered to buy them sodas. They're, they're away from their families. I'm, ve I'm very fortunate. It didn't hit our house. It didn't hurt one of my kids. It didn't hurt me. It didn't hurt my husband. None of my neighbors got hurt. You know, community and family, that's really the most important thing. And these guys get that. They've been so great, so nice, so positive. You know, oh, joking around, you know, hey, you're a firewood, you know, and, and all that stuff. So um, it's really been great. And I, I really you know, have a good understanding of how hard these guys are working. And the only thing that they're joking about is that they can't wash their clothes. And I'm like, well, I feel you. I can't wash my clothes either. <laughs> Actually, we do have laundry facilities set up for these mutual assistance guys. <laughs> Come on over. There you go. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for your patience and good luck this week. I hope that your service is restored today. It'll be great. We're, we're, we're hoping and we're, we're positive. And, you know, I mean, we've been very fortunate that it hasn't been 110 degrees. It is September. You know, we can have the windows open. Um, we have a gas hot water heater. Never had, we never went without hot water. We're on city water. We have, you know, we can flush our toilets. Um, we have friends who have coolers and we just, you know, the stores have been great getting ice and water and really, you know, you just you just get through. Okay. <laughs> thank you for your patience. Thank you. Oh, thank you, you bye for bye. Your, thank you for your patience, William. You say bye bye. We'll keep you posted as we continue to cover the restoration efforts with Hurricane Irene.